Hi, I'm Deputy Ruth Gallegos, and I'm part of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office Recruiting Section. I'm very excited that you're here. Prior to submitting an application, we want you to have information gathered. It'll make the process much more streamlined and efficient. First, get a copy of your resume. Know the last 10 years of work history. If you haven't been in the workforce for 10 years, all your work history will be required. You will need to provide references, complete with addresses, emails, and phone numbers. We will contact these people during the background portion of the process. Have all the information on your education, including the high school that you went to and any post-secondary education that you've completed. If you speak any foreign languages, put that down. The county has add-on pay for Spanish, Russian, and Vietnamese, but we value every language that you bring to our department, including American Sign Language. Also, know any skills that set you apart from other applicants. You will have to create an account in Workday to submit your application. Once you gather your information, your application in Workday will go smoother. The Workday account is how we exchange information with you. Once your application is submitted, it's the recruiter's job to validate that you have the same character and core values of every employee at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. The next steps can take six to eight weeks. All candidates are fully vetted. You will be asked to take a written test. You will be given a survey that will ask more in-depth questions regarding your personal history. There's also an interview, or what we refer to as an oral board, with a commander, a sergeant, and one of the recruiters. This helps us understand who you are and gives you the opportunity to tell us how you can add to our organization. After the interview, we conduct a background inquiry. This is simply a profile that helps us understand who you are. We will talk to family, friends, personal, and professional references. It is critical that you ask them to be responsive to the recruiter's requests for information because we want to be able to keep you moving in the process and it isn't possible without their input. As we continue reviewing your qualifications, we will collect your fingerprints for the criminal background check and you will take a polygraph. We're just looking for honesty. It's not only about what you've done, but about what you've learned and how honest you are about it. We want you to use your experiences and bring that empathy to the people that we serve. We want the executive staff to know you as well as the recruiters know you. So we'll make a presentation about you and present it to them. If you have met all the conditions and are a competitive candidate, you may receive a conditional job offer with the consent of the executive staff. Once you've received a conditional job offer, you have three steps left a psychological screening, a medical screening, and a drug test. It takes approximately two weeks to get you through that process. When those three results are in, we give one final presentation to our executive staff. Congratulations, you're then offered a final job offer. Our goal is to help you be successful. If at any time you have any questions, please reach out to us. You can call us at 303-271-5332 or send us an email at sheriff.recruiting at jeffco.us. We look forward to welcoming you to our family here at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office.